Yo, what's going on, y'all? I'm Cavell Anderson, and we're back with another VV and Ecomi video. And this one, we'll be going over something that's a pretty big deal. But we're starting off with this. This is more speculative. We don't know what it means. We know for certain um, all the people who have been eating off of VV and Ecomi, while a lot of us, a lot of the regular people, not me, like obviously we all know that I, I made profits, but a lot of people didn't <clears throat> weren't so fortunate in the VV project. What wasn't fortunate holding the Omi token and all of this stuff. So, yeah, a lot of people have been losing money, but we have the list of people who've been making a lot of money off of this project. So that's kind of interesting. And also, this is something else that's sketch. I'm not making any assumptions about it, but what looks weird is the fact that in 2023, the name of the company was actually changed to Orbeez Technology Limited. So um, this, this is interesting. As you can see, um, this is the document here, September 20. 7th 2023 change of company name um the presenter david christensen um yeah this is all the information new zealand so the new company name is orbeez technologies limited previous company name was orbeez blockchain technologies limited why was the word blockchain removed is it like do they not want to be affiliated with the blockchain anymore like what what's going on because what it looks like to me is the same thing with the Omi token, how the VV app was built off the investors from the Omi token. It looks like their whole reputation and everything was built off of the blockchain community. Now they're separating themselves from the blockchain. That's what it seems to look like to me. That they seem to have taken the quid route, except for use manipulating the 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 crypto and blockchain people first. And it's it's kind of weird. It's kind it's a weird approach, but yeah. Listen, I don't know. I'm just saying what it looks like to me. I mean, this is just my own personal opinion. Maybe someone can ask some of these people the questions because I, I don't even attempt to ask them questions. Like, I don't attempt, I, I don't, yeah, don't care. Like, I mean, I care, but I'm not gonna sit here and go above and beyond to sit here and try to figure out something that they're probably just gonna say, uh, I, I don't, I gotta talk to lawyers. I don't know if we can say that or nah. So yeah, anyway, that being said, the company name was changed in 2023. It excluded the the um, term blockchain. So I don't I don't know why that is. So maybe somebody asking one of these people affiliated with the company about that maybe maybe a move that needs to be made at some point in time. Also, here we have the shareholding information, so we can see the splits between everybody who's who's involved with this company right now. So th this is this is the total shareholder splits. Um. As you can see, you got uh, Blackbird New Zealand in 2029. I don't know who this is, 0.39. Don't know who this is, 0.11. Um, yeah, 0.37, 0.06, 0.06, 0.06, 0.06, 0.06, 0.06, 0.06, 0.06, 0.06, 0.06, 0.06, 0.06, 0.06, 0.06, 0.06, 0.06, 0.06, 0.06, 
showing them arguing among themselves and coming to the realization that they have been misled by David and Dan. And, I mean, we were only telling y'all this from the jump, but okay, I digress. Um, it said, these well-known bullish, quote-unquote bullish community members, the people who I've been trashing for the longest, established private messaging groups with the malicious intent of dispelling valid criticism and coordinating attacks on those who questioned the projects, all to hide the truth and protect their investment. And th this is pretty... This is pretty common sense. This, this, we, I, I mean, we, I was telling you all people was doing this. Like, this is stuff that we know. This, it obviously felt like this. Anytime I would tweet something, everybody would try to come at me. But, and you notice how every time they try it with me, they always fail. Like, this is, this, this is what happens when a bunch of weakness, weaklings try to come across Thanos. <laughs> That's what happens, man. Like, listen, I, like I didn't really know y'all was really. Like, I I assumed it. I really did. The same faces coming after me every single time, or the same names and avatars coming after me every single time is crazy. But y'all are actually establishing this in the DMs together and still losing. And y'all wonder why my ego is high, bro. Like I had no idea at the time that y'all was doing this, and I was single handedly smacking y'all down by myself. You should feel ashamed of yourselves. Y'all can come come together as a collective and can't take out one black dude from Chicago? Like, what's wrong? Like, come on now. Like, that's crazy. And then you still didn't even save the investment, bro. The investment is still looking shaky. All this stuff that y'all been doing to sit here and try to boost your investment and sit here and manipulate people and hurt people, it, it ain't even did nothing. It Has it, has that been fruitful for y'all? I'm sure y'all may have been getting some secret benefits from people here or there or something like that, but... Has it really been worth it misleading so many people? Like, was it worth your soul? Was it was it really worth your soul? It's sad. So many people willing to sell their soul for peanuts. I mean, I wouldn't sell my soul for nothing, but y'all selling it for peanuts is crazy. That's dirty work. I ain't gonna lie to you. Um, we could begin naming the individuals involved, and we may do so, but it's already quite clear who's trying to mislead you. I mean... I could probably think of a ringleader or two. <laughs> I mean, I'll start by anyone who's probably affiliated with the company. I mean, you know what I'm saying? They, they, they bring certain people on their side and criticism suddenly stops. They, they try to explain how everything is this tactical strategic thing, yet search bars tend to take years. I mean, if something's so strategic, I have never seen a strategy that took a year to make a search bar, you know? Like, what type of strategy is that? Like, if people who don't know what they're doing in charge leading the way, and they have been, it, it has been that way. And people need to start waking up to this fact. I said years ago, we need to criticize them and get the truth early on so it won't be years later and we're here. This is why I said what I said years ago, because we never had to get here. If the community would have said, you know what? We need to make sure they're doing what's best for this community. We need to know. We wouldn't be here right now. But no, everybody wants to, oh, I'm so scared of losing my little money. Only thing you did was ensure that you're more likely to lose your money. This is why you don't let fear rule your life. This is why you don't move with fear. Scared money don't make money, bro. We already invested the money. If we're gonna lose it, we're gonna lose it. The only thing you can do is do the best as you can do to make sure you don't lose it, which means staying on their ass, getting information, or learning. Because if they if they was shady, which they, they've proven that they've been lying, like they've admitted to it at this point. If they were shady, we could see if they're the type of people who's gonna get back on track and honor their word, or if it's just a lost cause. And if it's a lost cause, people could have been moved on. But no, like they've just now come out saying things. Listen, I don't, I don't, I don't know what's going to come of this, but yeah. Anyway, the, these these groups and these people getting together, talking about they've been misled and stuff. It's sad. It's pathetic, to be honest. The deceit runs deeper than most of these individuals were even aware, though, as they too were being deceived by another group above them. They were merely the minions in the scheme. So, I mean, obviously these influencers were going to be minions, bro. Like. These fake influencers, like, <laughs> did y'all really think y'all was important, bro? Like, did y'all, I mean, people want to criticize people like me and Vivi Vault, but we came and built it out of the mud. We had to leave. The real influencers had to step out of the way for y'all to step up and actually get some shine. Come on now.
you were never that important. You were never that relevant. And you never had to work for it. Do you think good things in life come easy? And then y'all want to sit here and down trash and start rumors and, and try to bring down the people who had to work their ass off to help VV get to where it's at. And we too were misled. Then when we say we were misled and we felt misled, y'all want to sit here and try to criticize us. Now y'all want to start crying about how y'all was misled? Come on now, we don't want to hear that. Y'all were given everything that y'all got. We had to take it, earn it, be against VV. Everybody criticizing us, talking trash. Like, come on now. Y'all don't even deserve to feel used. You should deserve to, like, you just deserve to know that you're stupid. Like, that, that's that's all that you need to know. Like, that's the, all the information that should matter to you. And I uh, saying, the group above um, in included individuals who were actually part of the team in some capacity, as well as others you may not even be aware of. It's important to note it was not David or Dan. We understand that it all sounds bizarre and ridiculous, but once again, it is the truth. So, I mean, this is nothing that's shocking. Uh, and I mean, I don't think that David or Dan would be doing things like this. I mean, I don't know them, but they seem, what David and Dan seems to be people who had a big vision, big dreams, and didn't realize how much it would take. And they, they seem to have a shitty circle around them. They stay tend to choose shitty people to work with and shitty people to do business with, and they don't seem that good at what they do. I'm gonna be honest with you. They don't seem very good at what they do. They like, David is a king in licensing. You know, Dan may be good at some tech and stuff like that, but the way that this business was handled, the way that they fumbled this type of bag is insane. Like, I don't understand how they did it, but yeah. So as you can see, let me see. In my opinion, the coordinated attacks from these individuals, this is crypto, bro. In my opinion, the coordinated attacks from these individuals were shameful as they attempted to bully people out of the community by getting their well-known group members to target individuals all at once. This in turn created a mob mentality where their followers joined in the attack on the people being targeted. I've seen the messages where they plan to target me and others. And while I personally found the attack on me amusing, their tactics were unfortunately effective against some who now rarely post. Let's make it clear. I didn't stop posting because of this mob. Like, I was single-handedly clapping them all by myself. Like, I was thanos in these bots. I stopped posting because there was better business to handle and more money to be made elsewhere. Like, that. that's that's why I stopped posting. Um, now your boy is getting back into focusing on the crypto space, focusing on all this stuff, hoping that Vivi is going to get it together. But this isn't honestly what this channel is even about anymore. I'll be posting a lot of videos outside of Vivi and this like, like Cavell Anderson has returned to Cavell Anderson's channel. Like the only reason I'm talking about Vivi is because this stuff keeps being, not that I've posted, people are bringing more and more information and stuff to my attention. So, you know, we, we gotta, we gotta talk about some of the stuff going on. A lot of people like to hear my opinions and hear my thoughts. Well, daddy's home <laughs> but yeah let me know what y'all think in the comment section down below a lot of a lot of shadiness is going on a lot of people hurt in their feelings realizing they were tricked bamboozled and retards and i mean it happens it'd be like that listen everybody got to face the music at some point I, I i was one of the fortunate and lucky ones to find out years ago but if you allowed yourself to be the problem is people don't use common sense they let their fears run over them people know me people knew how much love and effort and work i put into building myself in this community that's why it's always been hard to bring me down i put my soul into this project from the beginning and it still felt that's why it's been so tough to bring me down so for me to sit here and go for my love for this project to me to question in every move that they make do you think that some life oh it's the bear market that's what'll make him do that Come on now, y'all not stupid enough to believe that. Nobody is. That's why people will watch and they hate, but they low-key scared inside. Come on now. I'm not soft. Everybody know that. So why would I sit here and just start changing my tune because of the bear market? And this is what these clowns try to get together and, and spin that type of narrative. And then certain people start falling for it. And, and come on now, stop it. In the bear market, while VV people was losing money, I was making money. A lot of it. So, that being said, man, let me know what y'all think. You know, um, I want to know y'all thoughts and opinions on all of this. Um, be sure to drop that thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on notifications, and I'll catch y'all on the next one. Peace out, fam.